Okay, so the next topic that we are going to discuss uh, in Serenity is uh, web element facet. Basically, uh, if you are a little familiar with uh, Selenium, you must be knowing that uh, whenever we are finding any element, find element actually returns us web element. So here as well, uh, if I find element uh, using any of the Serenity method, let's say uh, find and I'll going to say uh, by dot uh, name and I'll give name as Q. Uh, just a moment. Name as Q dot and just finding the element not performing any action yet so this find actually returns us web element facet so this uh, basically if i copy this the type i can store it like this uh, let's say this is a text box field equal to this and then we're gonna import it using serenity bdd and then I can simply call all methods from the web element facade. And this is also an interface, like a web element is an interface. If I first show you what this web element facade interface is, so this is an interface and it is actually extending the web element itself. Not just web element, it is actually extending something like through your Android UI automator, through some accessibility ID, uh, which has something to do with uh, like the Appium platform as well. And if you go down, you'll gonna see whole list of methods over here. So one of the method is type. Type as in uh, we are using send keys, right? Uh, when uh, initially working with the typing, we can also use type. So it's a straightforward method. When you are typing, you can simply do type. And if I again press enter, put a sleep I mean a little pause over here so that the execution should not quit immediately and we should be able to see the results so this uh, this is an intentional delay that I'm adding over here so what happens uh, it will again uh, go to Google in the search it types uh, hello selenium and then we'll wait for three seconds and then we're gonna quit see but now what i want to do after uh, entering hello selenium i want to press enter button as well so there there is a method over here type and enter so see these are all customized methods so which is actually performing action on your web elements itself See, it pressed enter, right? And maybe uh, it may happen that the element might be taking some uh, time to show, to become visible. So we have a couple of methods over here, like uh, the element should be present. Before you type, it should be present. This is a void method. So it is not returning you anything. It is just waiting for the web element state to be present so you can add a condition over here that till the time the element is not present it should actually gonna wait so whatever by default timeouts is we're gonna discuss about the timeouts as well very soon uh, how we're gonna implement uh, weights or handle synchronization uh, in serenity so uh, that we're gonna discuss uh, it very soon right so over here, it should uh, be checking the presence. You can check the visibility. You can check whether the element is enabled. This this present option is not available in Selenium, right? If you have ever worked on Selenium, you must be knowing that we have methods like is enabled, is uh, like displayed, but we don't have anything like is, is present. So this is one of the best thing uh, that we have in the Serenity framework. Right, and then, uh, if in case you want to go through the Java document, so this is uh, the Java document, uh, the web element uh, facade interface. 
and see super interfaces coming from this is coming from uh, Appium and this is coming web element coming from Selenium right so it has uh, support for all type of web elements as well as mobile element and these are the couple of things that you can do which we'll be talking about in upcoming lectures right so type type and enter you can type and then press a tab and go to the next element you can wait until the element is enabled present right so these are a couple of things which uh, this web element facade interface provides all right